after a beam of proton is accelerated by 1,000 volts, it enters a region with a uniform magnetic field 0 0.05 teslas. A. What magnitude and direction of electric field is needed to make this proton beam go straight undeflected through this region? B. The electric field is then turned off, so the beam of proton does circular motion in this region. Find the radius of the proton's circular motion. The mass of a proton is 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th kilograms. For the accelerator part, we can use the energy conservation. The kinetic energy gain comes from the potential energy loss. So the 1 half mv squared equals to u equals to qv. So the 1 half m, 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27th times the v squared equals to the charge. The charge of a proton is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb, the elementary charge, times the voltage 1,000. If we solve for v, we'll get v equals to 4.38 times 10 to the fifth meters per second. Because the proton beam goes straight undeflected, that means the electric force and the magnetic force, they must be equal and opposite so they can cancel. So the magnetic force equals to the electric force. The magnetic force is QVB. The sine is sine 90 degrees, which is one, so it's just QVB equals to the electric force for a charge in an electric field, the electric force is Q times E. So the Qs cancel. That means uh, the V times B, 4.38 times 10 to the fifth times the strength of the magnetic field, 0 0.05, would equal to that electric field. So the electric field equals to 21900 volts per meter. So that's the answer in part A. But we still need to find the direction of the electric field. Because the magnetic force and the electric force, they must be opposite in direction. So we can first find the direction of the magnetic force. We can do V cross B for the direction of the magnetic force going down. So the magnetic force goes down. That means the electric force has to go up. For the positive charge to experience an upward electric force, that means the electric field must go upward. So the electric field goes upward. Now in part B, we want to find the radius of the proton's circular motion after we turn off the electric field. If the electric field is off, there is only magnetic force acting on the proton. So we can write the net force equals to ma. The net force is the magnetic force uh, QVB because the sine is sine 90 degrees, which is 1. And uh, the charge does circular motion, so the A is uh, V squared over R. We can cancel one of the Vs, and we get uh, QB equals to MV over R. We need the radius, so R equals to mv over qb. So the radius is the mass, 1.67 times 10 to the negative 27. Speed is 4.38 times 10 to the fifth, divided by q times b. The charge is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulomb. The magnetic field is 0.05 teslas. So this will give us 0.0914 meters. And that's the radius of the circular motion.